What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the best all around guard build in NBA 2K20. So first of all, you do want to go with a shooting guard because shooting guards do get more attribute points than point guards. When you are choosing the pie chart, you want to go to the very bottom and go up one. You want to go defense and playmaking. I'm going to show you guys why right here in a second. And when you go to the physical profile, you want to go to the one all the way to the bottom because it is the most balanced. If you want, you can choose this one with more vertical acceleration and speed and less strength. But I think this one with more strength is worth it because your speed only drops three, your acceleration drops two, and your vertical only drops by seven, but your strength does go up by 17. So that is a big plus, especially for contact dunks with this build. And speaking of contact dunks, right here you can see this build gets an 87 driving dunk, so you can get contact dunks for sure. It gets a 67.3, which will go up once I do lower the wingspan. And this build can speed boost, as you can see, when I do lower the wingspan, it will go to an 86 ball control. And the perimeter defense is also an 85, so this build is good on defense, it can speed boost. If you can time your jump shot, you will be able to shoot with a 69 three-pointer, and it does have an 87 driving dunk. You do want to max out the driving layup, and the standing dunk is honestly up to you. I'm going to max it out just for the badges. I also am going to max out the mid-range and the post fade for now, as well as the lateral quickness, the steal and the pass accuracy so i do have some attribute points left i am going to lower the pass accuracy just a little bit just so i can have a little bit more attribute points but keep the 18 playmaking badges same with the free throw i am going to max it out but then lower it by two just so i can stay with 10 shooting badges and i also do want more finishing badges and i don't need post hooks so i'm going to max out the close shot lower it a little bit and i am going to max out my offensive rebound just for put back dunks and this is going to be the final build i'm going to have 12 finishing badges 10 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 16 defense. As you can see, this is well-rounded. And in the physicals, everything is pretty high. For the height on this build, you do want to go 6'5". You can go 6'6 six six if you really want, but you will get 84 driving dunks. So you will be able to get contact dunks, but not every single contact dunk package. You need 85 driving dunk for that. And you also won't be able to speed boost. So 6'5 is definitely the best height. So last night, I was experimenting with the weight, and I found the perfect weight for this build to be 227 because... You could go 226, 227 and boost your strength by one. And if you do go over 227, you do lose a little bit of lateral quickness and you do lose acceleration and vertical. So 227 is the sweet spot for this build. And with the wingspan, you wanna put it all the way down. So you get a 69.3 and an 88 ball control. If you really wanted to, you can just put the wingspan down one just to get 86 ball handling. But I put it all the way down just so my three pointer can be higher. And the takeover is kind of difficult because these four are all really good takeovers. Shot creator will obviously boost your offense and your moving shots. I don't think it's that great because this build shooting isn't good enough for shot creator takeover. You can definitely do that if you want. It will give you a boost. But I think these three right here are probably the best for this build and its attributes. So if you want to go offense, I would honestly go slasher takeover because you can get a blow by. Playmaker is awesome, but I think slasher would be better for this build. And lockdown is also really good on defense. So honestly, I would choose between slasher or lockdown. It's preference. My preference, I would go slasher just because it's more fun to use. And I think this build's defense is good enough where you don't need lockdown takeover. So I'm going to go with slasher takeover. Honestly, choose one of the four, whichever one you want, whichever one you feel most comfortable with. As you can see, I do have a two-way slashing playmaker. And my build was compared to the one and only Kobe Bryant. Personally, I think the best badges for this build are Acrobat, Contact Finisher, Giant Slayer, Relentless Finisher. Fancy Footwork might not be the best, but it does fit my playstyle, so I'm going to put it on. And finally, Slithery Finisher. So you can go with any combination of these badges. I think I'm going to go with Contact Finisher Gold, Relentless Gold, and I think I'm going to make Giant Slayer Silver, Acrobat Silver, and Slithery Finisher Silver, and just have Fancy Footwork Bronze. And the good thing about this game is that you do get these badges, but once you do get your overall higher, you can get boost to these badges. So Fancy Footwork is bronze now, but later on when I do get badge upgrades, I can make that silver, and later on I can even make that gold. Personally, I think the best badges for this build are Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Dead Eye, Quick Draw, and I think Hot Zone Hunter is a good badge, especially since you will be shooting from the corner a lot. It's kind of like a boost to Corner Specialist, but personally, I'm not going to put it on just so Corner Specialist can be a little bit higher of a tier. So I'm going to put Dead Eye to Silver for now, Corner Specialist to Gold, Catch and Shoot to Gold, and honestly, you can put Quick Draw to Silver or you can put Dead Eye to Gold. I think I'm going to put Quick Draw to Silver just so I can have a faster shot on this build. When it comes to playmaking, I think the best badges are Ankle Breaker, Dimer, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Space Creator, Unpluckable, and Tight Handles. So these badges are all very good, but I feel like Space Creator doesn't really go with my playstyle, so I'm going to take that off. 
Quick first step, I'm for sure putting to Hall of Fame. That goes with my playstyle really well. I want Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. I want Tight Handles Gold, Unpluckable Gold, and then Handles for Days for Gold. And for now, I'm going to leave Dimer on Bronze. Obviously, once I do get badge upgrades, I can upgrade that. And I could get Space Creator if I really need that. But these are the playmaking badges that I am going to go with. And now on to defensive badges. The thing about this build, you're great on offense and you're great on defense. As you can see, I have 16 defensive badges. I think the best defensive badges for a guard, especially for this build, are clamps. Lightning reflexes, I think it will be good. I'm not 100% sure what it's like. But also intimidator, interceptor, pick dodger, and pickpocket are also really good. You could put tireless defender on. I don't really think I need it. I think I'll be fine without it. But for now, I'm going to put Clamps on gold. I'm going to put Intimidator on gold. I think I'm also going to put Pick Dodger on gold because a lot of bigs will be setting screens, especially trying to get Brick Wall. And I'm going to put Interceptor Silver, Pickpocket Silver. And actually, I'm going to put Clamps to Hall of Fame. And I think I'm going to put Intimidator to Hall of Fame. These are the defensive badges that I'm going to start with for now. And I'll get upgrades later on. So those are the badges. And like I said before, this build is a great all-around build. As you can see, I have four Hall of Fame badges, eight gold badges, seven silver badges, and three bronze badges. So this build can do it all. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be my primary guard build for NBA 2K20. I'm mainly going to be on a big man. I'm not 100% sure what I want my main big man build to be yet. I still have to look into that. But when it does come to guards, this is going to be my main guard build for pro-am for park for pretty much every game mode so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been king josh and i'm out peace